Good afternoon. Hi, my name is Christine Kingston. I'm a grateful three-year recovering addict, and I come to you today to read to you the Day by Day by Hazelden, the Daily Reflections by AA, and the Just Sort of Day Daily Meditation by Narcotics Anonymous. And I read these so you don't have to. And after this video, I will be doing a get ready with me and taking my hair down for the first time after my haircut and styling it to see what it's going to look like. I've already taken my big poofy um, scrunchie out. So forgive me for the mess that it's in this morning, but it's time to come down. So, um... I wanted to do a get ready with me along with doing a um, a review on the Swispers silicone blending sponge instead or blending blender instead of using my um, Luxy blender. So with that being said, we are going to dive into our readings for today, and it's day by day. June the 10th and happy hump day. We are in the middle of the week and we are going to on to the weekend. So it says June the 10th being stupid. It's not unusual for us to say that we have gained everything from this program in spite of ourselves. We get in our own way blocking ourselves from our father and fellow addicts. We do stupid things in the beginning, like going to bars, pot parties, deliberately setting ourselves up to take that first fix, pill, or drink. But even when we are so stupid, God still holds us, holds out His hand. We still have the choice to pray and ask His help. Even with our stupid moments, in spite of ourselves, God will help. Help if we but ask have i stopped being stupid yes i don't go to parties anymore father save me from myself protect me from the disaster of my own thinking today i will stay out of my own way by not going to any type of parties that i know um that are going to be um not for me um i still go to parties but most of the time, um, I have a handle on my um, drinking, and I know that um, I cannot take that first drink because that first drink will lead me back to drugs. So, with that being said, we're going to dive into the daily reflections, and it says, June the 10th, impatient, try levitating. We reach more strongly to frustrations than normal people, as Bill sees it, page 111. And if you are not familiar with um, the big blue book, that is um, the Alcoholics Anonymous um, guide, um, as Bill, uh, Bill sees it. And he is one of the founders of AA. So, in future reference, if you did not know who Bill is, he is one of the founders of AA. Impatience with other people is one of my principal failings. Follow a slow car in a no-passing lane or waiting in a restaurant for the check drives me, drives me to distraction. Before I give God a chance to slow me down, I explode, and that's what I call being quicker than God. That repeated experience gave me an idea. I thought if I could look down on these events from God's point of view, I might better control my feelings and behavior. I tried it, and when I encountered the next slow driver, I levitated and looked down on the other car and upon myself. I saw an elderly couple driving along, happily chatting about their grandchildren. They are followed by me, bug-eyed and red-faced, who had no time schedule to meet anyway. I looked so silly that I dropped back into reality and slowed down. Seeing things from God's angle of vision can be very relaxing. 
and yes, um, I have a tendency to, um, I have a tendency to be one of the faster drivers, which I should not be, and um, I'm running like I'm on a schedule, and there's no schedule to meet. So I am guilty of doing that and getting mad when someone else is driving slow in front of me. And that is something that I have to work on. So we're going to dive on into June the 10th. And I'm going to need my glasses today. And it's called June the 10th Changing Motives. When we finally get our own selfish motives out of the way, we begin to find a peace that we never imagined possible. Basic text, page 45. As we examine our beliefs, our actions, and our motives in recovery, we'll find that sometimes we do things for the wrong reasons. In our early recovery, we may have spent a great deal of money and time on people wanting only for them to like us. Later on, we may feel that we still spend money on people, but our motives have changed. We do it because we like them, or perhaps we used to get romantically involved because we felt hollow inside and were seeking fulfillment through another person. Now our reasons for romantic involvement are based on a desire to share our already rewarding lives with an equal partner. Maybe we used to work the steps because we were afraid we'd relapse if we didn't. Today, we work the steps because we want to grow spiritually. We have a new purpose in life today, and our changing motives reflect that. We have so much more to offer than our neediness and insecurities. We have developed a wholesomeness of spirit and a peace of mind that moves our recovery into a new realm. We extend our love and share our recovery to complete generosity, and the difference we make is the legacy we leave to those who have yet to join us. <clears throat> Just for today, in recovery, my motives have changed. I want to do things for the right reason, not just for my personal benefit. Today, I will examine my motives. And yes, um... I used to try to buy people's love, and um, that's not the right way to do things. Um, you can't buy someone's love. Um, you can try all you want to, but most of the time it doesn't work out. And um, my motives um, on a relationship right now are being in a relationship with myself and finding out who I am because... I never gave myself the chance to find out who I am. I always molded myself around someone else. So today I am not in that type of relationship. I'm in a relationship with myself. Excuse me, I got a hair. I'm in a relationship with myself and I'm learning who I am instead of, uh, and who I want to be instead of who someone else wants me to be. And with that being said, I want you to breathe in courage and exhale doubt. And I love this card. Um, it's a postcard that I got from Lunary. And um, I got several of them. And um, I um, really like this one um, because um, you can always breathe in the courage and exhale the doubt. And um, that's what we have to do when we're in recovery. So, with that being said, I'm going to close with the serenity prayer. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things that we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference just for today. And remember, guys, this is not the only thing I do. I do unboxings of several subscription boxes, and I also have giveaways on my channel. And also, don't miss Face Mask Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We have a lot of fun over there on my live, and um, 
we do chit chat and sometimes I, uh, I do hauls and um, we just have a lot of fun over there and with that being said I will see you in my next video. Love you lots. Bye-bye.